Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm We Rock and our X Socks Off, and in this part we're going to be taking on the boss of the great inside the Great Deku Tree, so let's go ahead and get this started. Parasitic Armored Arachnid, Goma. So this is the first boss in the entire game. In the entire game, Goma. Now, this boss is extremely, extremely easy. All you have to really simply do is that Goma is going to be going down on the ground. And when she opens her eye just a little bit, you want to go ahead and fire a slingshot into your eye. And then after you want to do is a couple um, jump attacks, or you can use jump attacks with your Deku sticks. Either one is fine, but I prefer to using my sword because I don't want to be breaking jump attacks. And then when she goes ahead and climbs on the ceiling, she'll be showing her eye. When it's when it turns the color red, that's when you want to go ahead and uh, shoot uh, Goma in the eye. And we went ahead and defeated her, so... To be perfectly honest with you guys, this is probably... No, I would say this is the second easiest boss. I think the next boss is a little bit easier for me personally. But we went ahead and defeated him. Or her, I don't know, parasitic queen. But he's more like a he because he more looks like a he. Because he is less attractive because I am a man. Wait, what the heck do I mean by that? And why do I? Why am I even talking like that? So we went ahead and got a heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased by one heart. Your life energy will be totally refilled. That basically summed up what a heart container was. There's going to be one little item that we'll be getting later in the game that's very similar to that, but we'll only be needing to uh, to get to another heart. You'll be needing to get four of these little pieces of heart. Wink. Okay, that's a little weird. So let's go ahead and get to this little blue thing. By the way, guys, this is going to be more of a cinematic part, so I apologize for that future. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and skip the commentary, well, just go ahead and skip through the cutscene. So let's go ahead and get into this little thing. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wast be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell ye, whilst thou listen. No! No, Link, thou must listen. My time is short. That's something funny you can do if you click no. Now listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile, sorcerous powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Faror, the goddess of courage. With her strong flaming arm, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. Nehru poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Faror, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. Oh. 
the three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. And golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence. And the resting place of these triangles has become the sacred realm. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man, with his evil heart, to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Thou, though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Link, go on now to Hyrule. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. And with that, we received the Kokiri's Emerald. You got the Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Navi, the fairy, help Link to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi, good bye. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Link. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree. Aw, the Great Deku Tree got died, so let's go. Mido, Mido, I'm gonna get around you, Mido. I'm gonna go ahead and get around you, Mido. Okay, I guess I just won't be able to get around you, Mido. Hey, Link, what did you do? The Great Deku Tree, did he die? How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Well, well, th gee, thanks. I just learned how to save your world from an evil man that will probably take over the world. So you go ahead and run away and say, I killed the Great Deku Tree, when you probably don't even realize when you're standing there the entire time, a big giant green man with a horse ran through this forest, and you do not realize that he might have done that? No. No, no. You expect a little 12-year-old boy with a green tunic to go in and kill the Great Deku Tree. Oh, yeah. Well, I do have a sword so I can go cut him up like crazy. Okay, what, what am I doing? So there's going to be a little bit more of a cutscene, so if you want to go ahead and skip to the commentary once again, you'll just have to skip throughout the video. Oh, you're leaving. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link, because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. And we went ahead and got the fairy ocarina. We'll be getting uh, a couple ocarinas in this game that will probably be the main basis of this entire game. You'll see more why we're actually getting ocarinas later, probably even next part, yeah, that you'll understand why we're getting ocarinas. So, I'm going to go ahead and continue with this cutscene here, so yeah. I don't know why I just said yeah, so... Continue! Wait, no, there's more. Okay, tutorial thing, pass through the text, whatever. When you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit.
And now we are in the most awesome hub world in video game history, in my opinion, Hyrule Field. So, in that last cutscene, Saria went ahead and gave us that ocarina, and that, and just letting you guys know, it is not pronounced ocarina, because in proper English terms, it would be pronounced ocarina, and if I absolutely get interrupted right now, I will go ahead and... <gasps> That owl. Who hoot, blink up here. And I'm not gonna go ahead and read this, because this owl is the most annoying owl. He's gonna be a little bit of you, the person that's gonna be holding your hand throughout this entire adventure. And there's enough characters to tell you to go to say, oh, go over there, go over there. You don't need this annoying owl. And what will happen is he will go say, did you get all that? Because I went ahead and skipped that with B. They purposely put no on top. So you'll go ahead and click that again. So all right, then I'll see you around. Hoot, 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 ho. Oh man, don't call me a hoe. I mean, I'm a boy. You can't call me a hoe. I'm a pimp dog. Okay, that was a little bit weird. And so, go ahead and going back on the uh, topic I was talking about earlier. It is pronounced ocarina. Well, I don't know. I guess you can pronounce it ocarina because even my uh, music theory teacher last year even pronounced it ocarina. But I'm actually a little okay. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk, explain that little story a bit a little bit later because it's gonna be more of a. It's gonna be more um. How what word should I use? It's gonna be more relevant. That's the word I was looking for. Sometimes I can't um. I don't know what the words to look for. I, I'm sure some of you guys know what, how that feels when you're kind of doing improv commentary like this. And I'm going to explain more of that story. But um, going on, so, oh, wait, what, going on? Why did I say going on? But um, so what we're going to have to go ahead and do is go ahead and make it to uh, Hyrule Castle. And that's Hyrule Castle over there. Well, not really Hyrule Castle, but a little bit of area near Hyrule Castle. And, I, and you better, you better try to make this before nighttime because there's going to be skeletons popping out of the ground if you do not make it in time. And luckily we made it on time. If you actually jump on that, um chain and then jump down you'll um jump down from the top you'll get 20 rupees and then you'll fall through the floor as a glitch and it's nighttime what the crap well i was gonna go ahead and do something in this part that would have been kind of relevant well i guess i know what i can do well, I'll kind of progress the story in a way, but this is what I'm going to go ahead and do. What you need to go ahead and do is just go up to, um, you may notice this little girl, like, singing over here, like, la, 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 So what you want to go ahead and do is go to Hyrule Castle. And it's going to be nighttime. In this area, um, nighttime and daytime will actually progress like Hyrule Field. But in towns like that, they won't progress. So I'm going to go ahead and cut till it is, um, daytime. Come on, I'm going to do that. No! And so now, guys, it is now daytime, so we're going to be going back to the Hyrule Market in the daytime. So this is the Hyrule Market. There are shops and stuff that you can buy supplies, like potions, that will give you more hearts, and then shields, and arrows, and slingshots, and such. Well, not really slingshots or arrows. Well, not arrows at this point of the game, wink wink. But the one thing we're going to go ahead and do is do a little bit of a mini game in this little area right here. And this is the shooting gallery, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Do you want to play a game? It's 20 rupees, boy. Yes, I do. Nope, you don't have enough... So now, guys, we finally have 20 rupees, well, at least to play this. So do you want to play a game? There's 20 rupees for play. Yes, I do. Okay, this is a game for grown-ups, Hyrule's famous shooting gallery. Take aim at targets from that platform over there. Can you hit 10 targets? Can you can get 15, you get 15 shots. Draw your weapon with B. Are you ready? Go for a perfect score. Good luck. So what we want to go ahead and do is use our slingshot to go and hit, go ahead and hit these little rupees, which are our targets. Now, with the GameCube controller, the aiming is a little bit more fidgety because this is more of an emulated game. It's not really emulated, but it was emulated on the GameCube in a way. Crap, I always miss that blue rupee up! Ah, please, don't mess up. Okay, I only need to hit one more. And, okay, I can get another free grain. Get grain? No, I'm, not, I'm not eating grain. That'd be a little weird, okay? Let's try to hit all 15 targets this time. Because now I kind of memorize where the positions of these blue rupees are. So I should be getting this now. Finally, we got it. Here's a fantastic present, and we went ahead and got a Deku Seeds bullet bag, which upgrades our, bullet, our slingshot bullets up to 40, beside, and I think the old one was 20 or 30. I'm not really sure. And after doing that little minigame, wait, that girl that we were talking about before is gone. Maybe she is over there. Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and in the next part, 
we will be making our way towards Hyrule Castle to meet the Princess of Destiny. So, I will see you guys then. Thank you.